Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365 and in this session we will discuss about how we can manage the mail flow, how we can manage the options which is available in mail flow like as a policy, security, rules, everything we will try to understand about. Because you know that as a Office 365 administrator, it's our responsibility we should know about each and every option. If we are responsible for each and everything like as a security, we are responsible to manage the mailboxes. We are responsible to establish our hybrid environment like as a migrate, migrate uh, mailboxes from on-premises to cloud as well. So we'll try to understand each and everything, but step by step. So let's move ourselves to the portal and try to understand about the options and the step that can help us to protect our mail services, right? So let's say start our practical, but before that, if you're new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so you can subscribe Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel because Teach Me Cloud can give you 100% live practical based videos, right? So now we are on page of our Office 365 panel and as you know that you have option to uh, create a purchase a free trial subscription without using any credit or debit card, right? We just need to sign up ourselves by using our Gmail account and our contact number, right? So you must need to uh, subscribe free trial account because it's really important for us. You must need to perform the practical task. So this is our Office 365 panel. We just need to click on our administrator. We just need to click on admin panel because you know that it's a Office 365 administrator center. And in admin center, we are able to find a number of options. And I think we have already discussed about some important part like as a uh, distributed list and uh, uh, shared mailbox. We have already completed how to add a domain. We have already discussed about to add the domain. Now we just need to proceed for next step and uh, we need to click on exchange administrator, uh, exchange admin center because uh, we'll find the option of mail flow in admin center only. Right. So you just need to open exchange admin center and it gives you option to configure mailboxes or configure the uh, services of mailboxes, mail flow services. Now. This is the panel and we are able to find multiple options like as a recipient, groups, resource, contact, mail flow, rules, a number of options are available. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on rules and give you the complete information, the number of, sorry, just need to click on mail flow and under the mail flow, I'm going to show you the some important rules. Those rules can help us to uh, manage and you can say that protect our environment, right? So what we need to do, just need to click mail flow and under the mail flow, need to click on uh, rules. We will discuss each and everything like as a message tracing and remote domain, accepted domain. So we will discuss each and everything, but step by step, we need to proceed with one by one. Need to click on rules and it will redirect you on the another page. Just need to wait. We just It will, it will take up to uh, 30 to 40 seconds to appear the options in our rules. Although I have already created one rule, so I'm just going to remove it that I can show you properly from scratch again. And meanwhile, I'm going to open the uh, users panel, means uh, our uh, active users that we have already created. So this is our user panel and in user panel, I have already created AWS, Azure, right? So, and both users contain uh, Office 365 license. It's a F3 license, both users contain a F3 license. So why we need to check it? Because it's really important if you want to see the actual result of our uh, rules. So you, your user must need to contain at least one subscription, one license. Open Exchange Admin Center and we just need to click plus icon and it gives us a N number of options. So these all are the templates. Those templates can help us to create your services to, to to use your services to protect our environment right so a number of options are available like as a uh, apply office 365 message encryption and rights which is help to encrypt the message whenever you transfer whenever you send or receive from any recipient uh, we have an option to configure that disclaimer right so by using this particular panel you can design your own disclaimer uh, for your employees for your mailboxes filter messages bypass right by size you you can filter the number of messages according to the capacity according to the size modify message a number of options are available but these all are the built-in template i'm going to create new right so just need to click on create new rules 
and in the new rules we will find a number of options so let me show you one practical first and type the name of rule so testing i'm just going to type testing rule and apply this rule if right you just need to drag and drop what you want to do the sender is the recipient is the sender is located right recipient is located n number of options are available i'm going to show you one the sender see apply this rule if select the sender right it will redirect you on another page so a number of users are available so i'm just going to select aws as a sender right click add we successfully added the sender you have option to select multiple sender right it's fully depend upon you so i'm going to use only one user at a time click ok and now uh, select what exactly you want to do so i'm just going to do the following forward the message for approval right uh, redirect message to which mail id reject the message with the explanation delete the message without notification anyone bcc the message to right which is one of important BCC blank carbon copy. You want to send the each and every copy of uh, our mail or message to a particular recipient, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select uh, uh, Azure, and Azure will receive the entire uh, blank copy if any message, if any um, activity managed by the AWS, because we selected the AWS as a sender. So just select and click OK. Add the user and click OK. We successfully configured this one is our sender and this is our you can say that uh, recipient that can uh, the, which is responsible to monitor your activity like as a, if you send any mail to any of employee or out of employee the same copy will transfer to the azure because we selected as a destination right so no need to do any uh, anything just import and i'm just going to save it let's try to understand about the actual meaning of this particular task so let me explain you through a uh, diagram. For example, this is our uh, sender. You can say that we selected a sender as a AWS at uh, Gluk Creation. I think yes, Gluk Creation. This is my on domain dot com. This is our sender, and we set a, another. You can say that kind of destination. Or you can say that which is responsible to monitor the activity monitor your entire sending activity so in case of destination or the sending activity we selected a azure at the rate of glue creation dot com correct so what happened for example aws want to send a mail to a particular employee like as the employee name is maybe raj at uh, glucreation.com right the actual sender is raj the, uh, the uh, actual receiver is raj but as per your rule the same copy right the same copy transfer to the azure user this is the actual meaning of this particular rule i'm going to show you the practical so in our case, we have already created a rule and check the number of users. So yes, we have a three different user and each and every users contain our licenses, AWS, Azure and Raj. So I'm going to send a mail from uh, AWS to Raj and you will be get the same message, same copy of your message uh, in the inbox of our Azure. So what I'm going to do, just need to open incognito wizard and open AWS account portal.office.com our sender name is AWS at the rate glucreation.com right Done. meanwhile I need to open uh, remaining two users the first one is uh, Raj, right? Portal dot office dot com. I 
and try to log in through raj at glucreation.com right fine so so uh, let me send the one mail open outlook okay and try to send a one test mail just a test mail okay so click new new message and type the mail id of our sender receiver sorry I want to send to Raj, right? Raj at the rate Cube creation. You can type the name. Raj at Gluk creation dot com. Testing name. Okay. And this is test mail for mail flow rules. That's it. I'm just going to click save. Then we successfully send a mail uh, back to the another account that we log in through Raj. Open Outlook and verify you are able to receive the message or not fine so we are able to find a one message which we are able to see one message received from uh, aws account but as per the rules you configured the rule like as uh, azure also will get the same message as a blank carbon copy so you need to use this particular rule to trace anyone for any suspicious activity you can configure this particular rule to trace your employee or trace your mail id right so this is test mail for mail flow rules what i'm going to do i'm just going to log in another uh, account and this time i'm going to log in through azure at the red club creation.com right because we want to see that are you able to receive the blank copy of your uh, entire message or not so just need to log in it open another wizard and try to open uh, mail id of azure portal.office.com this time you should log in azure at the rate gluk creation dot com right And what we need to do, just need to click Outlook, use Web Outlook to uh, check your entire mail. Okay, so yes, we are able to find the same message that you shared for the that you sent it for. Uh, uh, Raj user, you are able to get the same message. It's a kind of blank carbon copy. So I hope you all of you understand about the concept of mail flow rules. Next, we will discuss another options because you know that n number of features, n number of options are available in mail flow. So let me know if you have any question. Please drop a comment. Definitely will reach your comment and give you the proper solution. Take care, guys, and bye bye. And please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Bye bye.